So now we come to the Avogadro's law, right? Avogadro's law. Now, Avogadro was an interesting man. Hmm? He started his career by being a lawyer. Okay. Uh, and, and he was a very, very young. At a very young age, he was a lawyer. Started taking some private tuitions for physics and maths. Liked it. And then switched over from the job of the lawyer to becoming a, a scientist. Okay. And his reputation as an experimenter was not at all good. Okay, rather it was negative and, and hence many things that he said was not believed by people because he did not back it up with, with, with proofs and experiments. And whenever experiments were done, they were not meticulous and the readings and the conclusions, they were not brought out coherently. That was, that was a trouble with the man. Okay, but that is not to kind of take away some credit from him but 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 due to this his hypothesis found neglect for many years before being accepted okay now the the foresight of the man was such that <clears throat> was that he he combined two observations right the one one of the observations by was by gay luzac Okay, and we are not talking about the pressure temperature relationship. What was the relation, the other relationship by Guy Lussac? That, that the, the gases combine, the, the gases combine or <coughs> are produced in ratios in, in, in any chemical reaction in a chemical reaction in in simple ratios of their in simple ratios of their volumes at the same temperature and pressure. Okay. Now the Dalton's atomic theory, what did that say? Dalton's atomic theory said Dalton's atomic theory said that that elements combined in a, in a chemical reaction the elements combined in in simple and fixed ratios of their numbers right in a chemical reaction the gases the, the the elements not only gases the elements so 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 that's a superset the elements combine in simple ratios of their numbers Right. Now Avogadro was smart enough to, to look at these two and kind of bring up a relationship between them. Okay. Okay. Now what happens? A and this ratio remains fixed. Okay. For, for a particular compound, that ratio remains fixed. Okay. This ratio is fixed 
for a particular compound okay for a particular compound it is fixed now you see so when the gases combine say to form a particular particular compound they are also combining in the simple ratio of volumes and that ratio is also remaining fixed every time that you keep the temperature and pressure the same here the elements combine simple ratio of their numbers this ratio is fixed for a particular compound correct so maybe what happens h2 plus o2 giving me h2o say in the in the gaseous format okay so what happens what happens yeah you'll have to balance it you know, obviously okay so so this must be happening right so so what happens so what must be happening see this this always has this always has how much so so i say that two molecules of hydrogen gas reacts with one molecule of oxygen to give you two molecules of h2o okay h2 h2o itself has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen okay now here the here the ratios are they are sim simple ratios of volumes one molecule i am talking about one molecule okay here there are simple ratios of volumes and four here there are there are hmm? four x to one what? in one molecule yeah not in two molecules no 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 the ratio now in the ratio the common thing goes away isn't it so so this now somehow he was he was absolutely brilliant enough to to understand understand that is it that the 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 same volumes contain the same numbers understand it must be because every time i take the same volume it is having the same numbers so that so that those numbers the number of molecule criterion gets gets satisfied and they react and produce the product in the way they are producing what do we mean by numbers numbers is numbers how many how Words. many no don't go into that how many okay so it must be how many don't go don't go into moles okay because mole is nothing but but something to denote a large number huge number that's all okay and i have told you that that times it denotes is used to denote mass also and times to to denote numbers also it inherently means when you convert from mole to mass so so many a times it means means mass as well so so just try to understand these two things were combined and and he came up with his own hypothesis so the above two the above two laws on being combined was interpreted was the above two laws on being being combined was interpreted by avogadro 
to come up with his hypothesis which said and this hypothesis was not believed by the scientists so much so that after he gave this hypothesis it took 50 years for people to understand what he said okay fine not because it was so complex but perhaps they did not give a damn to a fellow like Avogadro, okay, who was earlier a lawyer and then switched, switched his sides. Fine. So, so these biases, <coughs> biases are there. So, so he said that at the same temperature. and pressure equal volumes of gases equal volumes of different gases gases contain the same number of Contain the same the same number of species atoms or molecules. Okay, I've made room for the monatomic gases where they are not a molecule, they are just an atom. The noble gases. Fine. Okay. And that led to a path breaking thing in finding out the in finding out the the, the gas law that we'll soon see. Okay. So, so, so what he said was, was that if at the same temperature, so, so volume is directly proportional to N. That means if volume increases, then N also goes up. It is the number which goes up. Obviously the mass goes up, but it is the number which is equal, right? So V is equal to this constant becomes k4 okay <clears throat> where in and, and, and gases gases they have huge numbers okay though they are far apart but even in a small volume you will find huge number of molecules so so we we use a a larger unit called mole. So, so n is n is the number of moles. Later, later you will also find mu also as number of moles. Okay. Many places you will find mu as number of moles because n later later conventionally stands for number of molecules per unit volume it is a it is a specific quantity okay per unit kind of quantity later hmm? so in physics many a times you will find instead of n they are writing mu okay it normally happens when we when we study the 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 kinetic theory of gases you will find that N starts standing for for number of number of molecules per unit volume and then mu replaces that N. So be aware of that switch at times it is there. Okay. <coughs> now one more mole of anything not only a gas contains 
yes one mole of one mole of any substance and that will include gas is equal to how many 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 species again I write species because it could be the number of atoms or the number of molecules you never know okay fine <clears throat> now so so what does it say it says that equal number of gas if it has same volume it will contain same number of of particles okay so so what what does it mean so if i if i do the reverse of it if i do the reverse of it i say one mole of everything all gases so at the same temperature and pressure so they should be occupying the same volume is it not if the same volume contains the same number of molecules then the same number of molecules should have the same volume so 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 this law can be further extended to mean this thus at the same temperature and pressure you know the the thing that this fellow came up with now that may look very very trivial okay very very trivial but it was not it was not at that time hmm. no even even at this time it's not and this took a swing from here, here many things became very very easy because, because that fellow did not fall in the in the in the era when Nobel prizes were being given. Otherwise, uh, he was a sure shot candidate for a Nobel prize. Okay, it looks like a very small thing, and considering the personality of the fellow and all, it seems as if uh, just generally he must have said something. But the thing is not that. So don't underrate him. Okay, don't underrate this, this conclusion. He may not have backed it up with, with experiments or whatever. And experiment, uh, experiment could have been a very simple experiment. Is it not? Hmm? So you take three, four different types of gases, pure gases, and you fill up, say, say a cylinder each or maybe a syringe each. Hmm? And, and weigh, weigh, the, weigh the empty cylinder and the filled cylinder and then you can you could have very readily said that the number of, of molecules is the same no because after all after all uh, after all you know the mass if you know the mass and you know the atomic mass then you can readily do that conversion of how many numbers of molecules are there okay it is so simple that even a high school lab should have facility to do this you just need some two three pure gases oxygen is a gas that is readily available acetylene is a gas that is absolutely commercially available okay Okay, hydrogen is a gas which is available. Fine, so at least three gases you have and you can immediately calculate it. Let the students calculate. Let them weigh it, let them calculate it. So, so the experiment was that simple. He could have actually uh, done a great great service to the to, the, to chemistry had he, had he come up with uh, this simple experiment. There's nothing great about it, right? So thus at the same temperature and pressure, one mole, so, so I am doing the vice versa. Try to understand. One mole of all gases will have the same volume. We get the point? Do we get it? And it can also be calculated. Okay. It can also be calculated. Now, there is a thing called STP, which is standard temperature and 
So there is a thing called standard temperature and pressure, which is which is zero degree centigrade. Okay, standard. So that is two seventy three point one five K. Okay, so so standard temperature is that, and and pressure is pressure is one atm one atmosphere and that is how much that is 1.01 1 .01 into 10 to the power 5 pascal that is 10 to the power 5 pascal is 1 bar it is 1 bar okay so you can also say that this pressure is 1.01 bar. bar you'll understand more about this when you study the mechanical properties of fluids now there is also co something called SATP that is standard ambient temperature and pressure. Standard ambient temperature and pressure. Okay. Now what is that? Ambient. Ambient is how much? Normal ambient. Uh, uh, yeah. So so it is twenty five degrees Celsius. So twenty five degrees Celsius, which is two ninety eight point one five Kelvin, and the pressure is one bar, which is obviously ten to the power five Pascal. Already written here. This is called SATP. Fine. Now, once you understand that, then at STP, STP, the molar volume is at STP, the standard temperature and pressure at STP, the molar volume is twenty. 2.7 liters at STP. Okay. At STP, it is that. Okay, and at SATP, at SATP it is, SATP it is 24.789 liters at SATP. Okay. all gases so 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 that is the impact of avogadro's law now we go ahead